Steve Hackett's special recipe in creating songs. All things in good time. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. We're going to talk about the brand new Steve Hackett album in just a second, specifically the song Fallen Walls and Pedestals, which is the first track on the album. But I had to ask him because Steve Hackett albums are grand affairs. There's a lot of players, a lot of cultures, a lot of musical taste to to sort of digest to building this album. I asked him about the timeline of doing the last one. What was the average time of getting, let's just say, of getting one song done on this album? What was the like average time? Uh, it's difficult to say because I don't tend to do albums all in one go. I tend to have chunks of maybe two or three different chunks. So you know, the average amount of time that something would take, ooh, let me see. It's got to be somewhere between two weeks and a month. I would say each track probably takes that. Some things might come together more quickly than that. And the instrumentals can come together very quickly. One of the tracks took literally one day. Which one was that? Uh, that was Descent. That all came together very, very quickly. That has a real military sort of vibe to it with the drums. That's right, yeah, very, very military. Cross between Ravel and Holst kind of Bolero rhythm. Again, you know, you t use the word foreboding. It's really uh, the build up to war. It's forces amassing thick clouds, descending sequences, tritones, three note chords, all going down in semitones. Doom rock all the way. Fallen walls and pedestals. You're coming in big and strong. That's an unbelievable piece. Tell me about that one. Well, funny enough, I've been rehearsing this one today with the band, and it's just coming together for the first time. It's one thing making an album, it's another thing doing it live. It's just something about it, there's something about the speed of it. There was a track years ago by uh, um, a comedian called uh, Bud Flanagan. He did a thing called Run, Rabbit, Run, and it was a big hit with, with kids. And there was something about the speed of it that, that worked. And I went for the speed of that, and, and something like... Not exactly the same melody, but but the way the way it falls is is uh, it's a similar rhythm, uh, completely different music, but a, a similar rhythm. And um, I thought if we had this kind of this slow, uh, ponderous rhythm, but we have these fast phrases flying over the top of it, it'll have you know twin aspects that you don't normally expect with majestic stuff. Steve Hackett is on tour the majority of the year. He's tipping his hat to Selling England by the Pound, performing every song from arguably Genesis' best album. Also, highlighting a lot of tunes from the brand new album, At the Edge of Light, and celebrating the 40th anniversary of Spectral Mornings, his third album. And keep in mind, we have a special feature on our sister channel on both albums. Not Selling England, but At the Edge of Light and Spectral Mornings, where... Steve Hackett talks about every single last track on the albums. It's kind of an interesting feature we're starting on Rock History Book. Go to hackettsongs.com for more details. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.